You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Oh, well, this year, Eddie Hall Arena in Abu Dhabi is quickly becoming an established spot here on the UFC event calendar. We are back and feeling all of that energy and then some here tonight. I mean, it's beautiful. I remember taking a tour of it before it was ready. Dana and I went on a, a, a tour of Eddie Hall Arena, and it was everything that they promised. Beautiful venue, and they've had some tremendous fights for an event and for an arena that's been in existence for not long. Big moments have already happened. Habib retiring to Islam Makashev becoming the champion. This is starting to become a historic place for mixed martial arts fights. You're right, it has been a special week as usual leading up to a big UFC pay-per-view. Now the fighters need to stop focusing on the visuals and focus on the tasks at hand. Making all these shots count. All the way, gets back up again. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big deep. Right, so perhaps a harbinger of things to come as the kickboxer stays upright, successfully defends the first takedown attempt by the way. Defending the first takedown, but he's got more coming in his direction. He's got to do exactly what he did. He needs to press pause, repeat, pause, repeat, making sure that he does the same exact thing every single time that allows him to stay upright. Holloway's now switching his stance. Nice uppercut. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's enough. That one appeared to stun him. Back to his feet. Oh, how about that? Lands a huge strike, and then just starts rubbing it in. He's feeling so good and loose that he's able to land and then show you and showboat on you a little bit. It's crazy. Oh, big elbow. Clean punch. Takedown defense is there. Two minutes have gone by. Dig the kick. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Let kick land. Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Oh, big knee there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now some separation. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to press right strike because he knows that his opponent can't take this one. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Oh, hook to the head by Holloway. Stuff to take down, no problem. Fighters separate from the clinch. Oh, he hurt him again. Nice shot there by the champ. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, big head kick there. Big knee lands to the body. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Holloway's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Good defense blocking that punch. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. Big shot to the head. Oh, and he lands again. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Take down attempt late, and it's good. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. He passed the half guard. Final seconds here of round one.
Makashev's going for the sub here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Big power shot there. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Beautiful combination there from Max Holloway. The Quest Express firmly on the track tonight. Please. Once he's rolling, Max Holloway is a real problem. Right now he's got everything with him. Holloway's cut above the eye. Much behind the takedown offering there. Straight punch lands. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. It's massive knee lands from the side clinch. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Islam Makashi. That was a nice play. Unable to connect with the right hand there. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now some separation. Just out of range with the big right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just over three minutes to go. Chip, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. It's working. Nice punch to the head. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, knee to the head. How did he swallow that one? Makashev's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Nice spinning attack to the body for Holloway. Well, confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high, and I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Two minutes. The right hand just misses. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Takedown defense holds up. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You've got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Pretty good head movement defensively by Holloway. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. 
Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. up, he opens it. 20 seconds to go. Back to his feet. Nice spinning attack to the body, lands for him. And some separation. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh! Oh, 10 minutes in the can. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Overhand left, swing and a miss. Switch kick landed there by Max Blessed Holloway. It's a pretty fast jab. Oh, nice takedown defense. Holloway getting tattooed by that stiff jab. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. Controlling the fight behind that jab. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Oh, great block there. Now they separate. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh! Oh, oh look at that. So you land, and then you add insult to injury by talking trash. It's almost like, hey, I told you I would get you, and he shows him, I got you. as though now the referee will step in to look at the swelling on that eye as he calls for the doctor. Maybe he wanted to step in earlier, but now he had no choice. He had no choice. The swelling is so bad, he can't see. He's flailing at his opponent right now. I think they're gonna stop this fight. I stand corrected! Doctor's gonna allow them to continue, but he's gonna have to go for it, I would think. Yeah, he will. He's gonna have to make some adjustments. And also, he's gonna have to lay it all out on the line. He cannot stay back and get picked apart as he has to this point. Lakashev's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only gonna get worse as this fight continues. Use that left hand now. Use that left hand. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice punch by Holloway. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. As you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within himself, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. And, wow. Oh, hip toss to get him down. And busy as he looks to improve position here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. 
The fight is slippery. Holloway's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily. Oh, that's it! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get to the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 58 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new USC lightweight champion of